Hello and welcome to my video. If you haven't seen my previous videos on quadratic functions, please check the link on the top right corner or the link in the description. Today we are going to talk about the maximum and minimum values of the quadratic function. So the function fx equals x square is defined on x greater than or equal to a and x less than a plus 2. So the domain of the quadratic function is limited here. And the difference between maximum and minimum values of fx is 3. Find all possible values of a. Again, the function is defined on the limited domain. And the length of the domain or norm of the domain is 2, which is fixed value. As a changes, the domain changes, hence the positions of the maximum and minimum values also change. So the question is, how many different cases are there to deal with? Well, there exist four cases as described in the figures. Can you understand why the cases are divided like this? Well, let's examine each case closely. So here we are again at the Desmos graphing calculator and our function fx equals x square is plotted here. But the domain of the function is limited to this shaded region between a and a plus 2. So the function is only defined in this limited domain. So this is our first case. When a is sufficiently large, the domain of length 2 is located right here. And the vertex of the parabola 0, 0, is outside of this domain. However, if we decrease a, now the domain contains the vertex 0, 0. If we decrease further, the vertex is still in the domain, but the position of maximum value has changed. So this is the difference between case 2 and case 3. And finally, when the domain is on the far left like this, the vertex 0, 0 is again outside of the domain. The positions of maximum or minimum values differ from case to case and that is why we have to treat these four cases separately. Alright, so the first case where the domain is on far right side like this. And you can see that this is the case where a is equal to or greater than zero. In this case, the maximum value of fx is when x equals a plus 2. So it is a plus 2 square because the function is x square and the minimum value is when x equals a. So a square is the minimum value. So the difference between these values must be 3. So we have a plus 2 square minus a square equals 3. And by expanding a square cancel out and we have 4a plus 4 equals 3. So we have 4a equals minus 1. Therefore, we have a equals minus 1 over 4. However, since we are dealing with a case where a is equal to or greater than 0, this value is invalid. So this can't be the answer. Next, the second case is where the vertex 0, 0 is inside the domain. And this vertex is actually closer to a than a plus 2. This means that a plus 1, the midpoint of the domain, must be on the right side of the vertex. So this is the case where a is equal to or greater than minus 1 and less than 0. I didn't include the equality sign here because the equality case is already treated in case 1. Here, the maximum value is still f a plus 2. So it is a plus 2 square, but the minimum now occurs at the vertex, which is x equals 0. So the minimum value is simply 0. So now the difference between a plus 2 square and 0 must be 3. So by taking the square root, we have a plus 2 equals plus minus square root of 3. And therefore, a equals minus 2 plus minus square root of 3. But we have this range. So the value of a fit for this range is only minus 2 plus square root of 3. So this is one possible value for a. Now for the case 3, the vertex 0, 0 is in the domain. But now it is closer to a plus 2 than a. This is the case where a is equal to greater than minus 2 and less than minus 1. Again, I didn't include the equality sign here only because that case is already treated in case 2. Now the maximum occurs at x equals a. So the maximum value is now a square and minimum is still at the vertex 
So the minimum value is zero. So now the difference between a square and zero must be three. So we have a equals plus minus square root of three. And we have to choose the value fit for this range. So only a equals minus three is valid one. So this was the case three, and now the case four, where the domain is on the far left like this. Here, a plus two must be less than zero, so we have a less than minus two. Here you can see that the maximum value is fa, which is a square, and the minimum value is fa plus two, which is a plus two square. Therefore, the difference is now a square minus a plus two square, and this difference must be equal to three. By expanding, a square cancel out, and minus four a minus four equals three, so we have a equals minus seven over four, but this value is actually greater than minus two, so it doesn't really fit for this range. So this value two is invalid. We can summarize our results like this. Out of all values of a we have obtained, the only valid values are this one and this one. Therefore, the answer is a can be either minus two plus square root of three, or minus square root of three. And this is our final answer. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give it a like and also consider subscribing to my channel. And I will see you in another video.